we have the integral of cosine x times e to the sine of x. You want to give this a try? Go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Now we're going to be doing a u substitution again on this one. Sometimes they're obvious, sometimes they're not. We look at the exponent for e here, sine of x. The derivative is cosine. Sometimes they're not that obvious, but this one is pretty straightforward. You let u equal to the exponent of the exponential e here. sine of x, then du is equal to the derivative of sine is cosine of x, and this will be dx. Now if this was something else, like an x or a tangent, then it would be a little bit different in this, more difficult to begin with. But in this one it's pretty straightforward. We're trying to trans transform this integral into one involving the variable u instead of x. So notice here, cosine and cosine of x and dx, that's the product. Cosine of x dx, the product over here. And this is telling me you can replace that product by du. So these two can be replaced by du. And of course, e. The exponent of that is sine of x, and that's the u. And that's just pretty straightforward now. The integral of e to the x is e to the x, just like the integral of e to the u with respect to u is e to the u, plus your constant of integration. And then once we're finished with the integration, all we have to do now is go back to the original variable. This would be e to the u and u sine of x plus the constant of integration. And this one is pretty straightforward to check the uh, answer by computing the derivative. The derivative of a constant, of course, is zero. The derivative of an exponential is the exponential which is e to the sine x. And then using the chain rule, it's the derivative of sine of the exponent in this case. And that's the derivative of sine of x is cosine. And that again shows you the relationship between the chain rule for derivatives and the u substitution. That's your check right here. Final answer here is e to the sine of x plus a constant. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.